So if you want to know when an eclipse is going to happen, that means that you need to do a really careful job of tracking both the sun and the moon in the sky to try to look for patterns. Then you need to use those patterns from the past to predict out into the future when is the next time that the moon is actually going to come between the sun and the earth. Now that sounds like pretty hard work, and it is. It takes a lot of measurements in order to figure it out, and then you need to do some pretty complicated math in order to make your predictions. Uh, but the Mayans were particularly good at doing this. They kept detailed astronomical records of virtually every major astronomical object in the sky. And doing that, they were able to predict quite precisely and quite a long ways in advance when eclipses were going to happen. The sun has been very important to every culture on Earth uh, from the start of our existence. You know, several historical cultures have kept detailed records of various astronomical objects, but especially the sun. Uh, a total solar eclipse hasn't happened in North America in several decades, so this is really a rare thing, and it's a great opportunity uh, for people to experience you know, essentially a, a, let's say, twice-in-a-lifetime event, uh, and also learn a little bit more about uh, astronomy at the same time.